Hello guys and welcome back to another player review on the channel. Today we have the prime icon Hernan Crespo to review. So if you do enjoy today's player review, you know what to do fellas. Smash the thumbs up button, it's greatly appreciated. And if you are new, please, please, please do me a favour and just click the subscribe button down there for me so you do not miss a video. Uh, today, yeah, we've got Crespo, Prime Icon, looks pretty good. Uh, but he does have some concerning stats. Now, obviously, he's 377k, that's what I picked him up for. And you can get some hella cards for that price. Neymar, uh, Ronaldo, Messi. Is this man worth it? That's what we're here to find out, and you certainly will find out in this review. Now, he's got 4 star, 4 star, he's got medium low work rate, which ain't too bad for a striker in all fairness, and he is 6 foot. Um, his pace is great, 89-89, his shooting's absolutely stacked, apart from his long shots, which is 82. Ah, is that going to play a big factor in the card? Are they going to be terrible? That's what we're going to find out, lads. Um, because he does have finesse shot trait, which is definitely needed, because this man only has 72 curve, which is absolutely shit, isn't it? How can you have a finesse shot trait and 72 curve? I know it's in the passing stats, but still, still, uh, it don't make sense. Uh, short passing 72, long pass to 57 is absolutely atrocious, isn't it? Atrocious. So I'm not expecting anything within his range of passing, lads, at all. Uh, 63 kit, 77 crossing, and 83 vision. Now, his dribbling is fantastic. His dribbling is fantastic. Okay, we could say we want a bit more balance than 85, and we can do that by putting an engine on him. Um, I bought this card of a hunter, and <coughs> sorry, I bought this card of a hunter, and he's a cam as well. Um, he is going to play striker in game, don't worry about it. But I think probably an engine chem style would suit this card best because his shooting's already stacked, isn't it? Um, to get that. Pace up a bit, that pass it up a bit, and to boost that balance up to 95. I think that'd be the way to go with this car, to be honest. Uh, but his dribbling is fantastic. I mean, 92 composure is absolutely insane, isn't it? He also has 92 head accuracy and 88 jumping, so he should be able to score us a couple of headers. Um, his stamina is really, really, really bad. 80 is shocking for a prime. I last longer in bed than this man last on the pitch, and tell you. I don't last long, lads. <laughs> I don't last long. Now, 78 strength is okay. It's okay. His aggression, though, is pretty shit. He does have a finesse trait, as I've already said, and he has power header trait as well. He's icon profile for you, but obviously this was the card for when he played for Milan, and he was an absolute legend. So, without further ado, let's get on into the gameplay. But first... A quick word from our sponsor, Manscaped. But before we get into the review, a quick word from our sponsor, Manscaped. Roses are red, violets are blue, don't let wild pube wreck you. Valentine's Day is just around the corner and our sponsors at Manscaped are here for you with the best tools to get your balls ready for the special occasion. This feed day, it's time to join the four million men worldwide who trust Manscaped, the leaders in below the waist grooming with exclusive offer. Go to manscaped.com and enter the code JOSH97HD to get 20% off and free shipping. Links are in the description below. So here we go, match number one. He's got a pretty nice team if you ask me. Apart from the random Aspas and normal Fekir, at least use the road to the final, the sweaty one. Uh, but how are you liking the new overlay, lads? First video with a new overlay, are you liking it? Uh, you might be thinking, Josh, what is that thing above your head? What is, what is Cryptic Gaming? Well, Cryptic Gaming is the organisation that I'm a part of. Uh, basically, it's a bunch of uh, content creators, esports teams, etc, etc, who come together as a team and create content. So make sure you check out their um, YouTube, TikTok, stuff like that. The links are in the description below. Oh, Crespo finds space. He's bloody offside, lads. He's trolled me. He's bloody offside. He seems to make a lot of runs on his own, to be honest. I have noticed that. Uh, his run making feels very good. And I've only played 15 minutes with him so far. But he seems to be making runs off his own bat. So um, maybe you're a bit worried about the medium low work rate. Um, obviously, it's not too bad, but it could be high low. Uh, but he seems to be making the runs very well. Somehow he's snuck it in, lads. 
Somehow he snuck it in, showing his finishing ability there for the first goal with Hernan Crespo. And it was a cheeky volley into that top mid. I didn't think he was going to get there, to be honest, but he did. And he put it in the back of the net, just like we want him to. Can Crespo go on the end of it? Yes, he can. But the accuracy was a bit poor. Oh my god, that was so close to going in. What a strike it was. The angle was very, very tight. And it's just unfortunate that he did at the crossbar. But what an effort from him. <laughs> what? What just happened? He flicks it up. Bang, volley past Donnarumma for his second goal in this game. He likes to go volley this man, doesn't he? Certainly does. What a goal. <coughs> so we finish this game 2-0 and Crespo, he did okay in this first game. Obviously got himself two goals. Um, he didn't really get involved in much of the play, I've got to be honest. And uh, when he did, his passing was shit. So that is definitely a con with the card. His passing is pretty terrible, but he's always in the right place at the right time to pull the ball in the back of the net. And that is exactly what you want from a striker. He's definitely an out-and-out -out finisher. He's well-rounded in that area. Poacher, uh, to be fair, you can get him behind with the pace as well. Uh, but his finishing inside the box is absolutely fantastic. Outside the box, I didn't really get much chances with him. Uh, but the ones I did, didn't really test a goalkeeper in this game. So, uh, first game, first impressions, he's okay. Um, enjoying the card, I liked his uh, base. His mid card, sorry, to be fair, this year. I thought that was brilliant. Uh, would I say this is better? Yes, definitely. He does feel a lot better. Um, I didn't see... He wasn't knackered at the end of the game in this one. But um, he, he can be in future games. Especially if you're in foot champions. The 80 stamina is going to be a crucial for you. Um, depending on what you play style. Stuff like that. So here we go into match number two, and wow, what a team. Di Natale, Eto, Cannavaro, very good team, very good team. Going to be a tough one, this. Cuts in, Finesse. Oh my lord, what a banger that is. Are we going to have a rage quit in five minutes? Yes, we are, and it's all down to Crespo. That finesse shot, incredible. I mean, this man had bloody Eto, Di Natale, Sterling, player of the month, Messi. And he gave up within five minutes. It's the Crespo effect. What a finish that was, to be fair. That was absolutely incredible. So here we go into match number three of the review. And Jesus here, yeah, give me a break. Salah Red, you lucky man. I've, the only thing I got this year was Vinicius Red. And I played every single weekend league. And that's the best I've got. The next best is Kingsley Coleman Red, which is an 87 rated, but he's not very good on the actual game. So, GG to you getting a salad, mate. That's insane. And Crespo get on the end of it. Yes, he can. This man lives for the bloody volleys, doesn't he? What a goal that is. Lovely sneak through from Crespo, and he's there to finish his dinner. That is exactly what Crespo is, honestly. He does exactly what he says on the tin. This man is an out-and-out -out finisher. He is a top striker. Get him on the last man. Get him in behind. Don't let him play one-twos, play passes off him, stuff like that. Don't do it, lads. Just get him in the frigging box, and this man will score. We pass it to Crespo, we go for a cheeky goal, and he's got his hat-trick in this one. And a great, great finish, he's there again, getting himself in the box, ready for the goal, ready for the pass. He's just perfection. He's a perfectionist inside the box, this man. He's an out-and-out -out finisher. He does exactly what he says on the tin, lads, so if that's what you're buying him for, go and bloody buy him. Because he's pretty darn good. So we finish this game with a win and with a hat-trick from Hernan Crespo. He's going to pick himself the match ball there. Fantastic performance from him. Um, as I reiterated again, he is an out-and-out -out striker. 
he finishes his dinner, doesn't matter what part of his body, he's going to finish a frigging goal with his dick, this man. He's that good in front of goal. His head, left foot, right foot, tit, anything. Honestly, anything is what I'm trying to say. He's just an out-and-out -out finisher. He's a poacher. He can get in behind and score you the goals. The things he can't do, his last 90 minutes, um, his, his stamina is pretty poor. And it did show in this game, definitely. <coughs> I do apologise about the coughing, just had COVID and I seem to have a long cough, so you might be here coughing in a couple of my next videos as well. Uh, but as I was saying, yeah, just an out and out finisher. The the cons for the car, stamina, his passing is dreadful, lads. Um, so the thing to do with this car is roll up the wings, cross it in, he'll get a head, he'll get a volley. Or work the ball around him, use players around him, get him into the position. And then he will do you the business and score, just like he did on that attack. What a goal it was. Again, he gets in the position to score the goals, which is fantastic. He's just an out-and-out -out finisher. That is exactly what he is. And I've enjoyed every card of Crespo on pretty much every FIFA. I think he's a really, really underrated icon. He does exactly what he says on the tin. Goals, goals, goals. He will score you them, so definitely go and try him out. Um, I have reviewed already Shevchenko Prime who um, is similar price to this car, and this man, five times better. Five times better. He feels amazing on the ball compared to Shevchenko. And there's other cars that probably do a similar job, uh, maybe like Prime Larson, uh, but this man, fantastic again from him. That's six goals in three games. So out of ten, what would I rate this Hernan Crespo? It says five games there, but two of them... Uh, the Hello, dog. You seem to have joined me. This is my dog, Nala, if you can't see her there, German Shepherd. Anyway, as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by my pooch, is uh, two guys backed out straight away. Don't know why. Uh, they had bronze teams. They must have been going down uh, leagues or something. Um, so we actually played three games, and he got six goals. Fantastic performance. As I said, he ain't going to get you a single assist because he can't pass for shit. Um, he, he's that kid. Uh, pass the parcel. That doesn't pass the bloody parcel and keeps hold of it because they want him to stop on him so he can open the bloody parcel. That's this man. He can't pass. He can't pass. Um, but what he can do is score you tons of goals and I guarantee, I guarantee goals. I will bet you all 10 quid that this man's going to score you a ton of goals if you do get him. Um, he really is goal in front of the goal. That's absolutely brilliant. Both feet, left foot, right foot, doesn't matter. Head, nipples, toes. Uh, shins, whatever, he's going to put it in the back of the net for you, as I've reiterated many times in this review, because that's what he does, that is what he does in game, lads. So, if you have enjoyed today's play, you know what to do, smash that thumbs up button, and if you are new around here, please do subscribe to the channel, and I don't think I've given him a rating. Um, out of 10, I'd probably go with a solid 8. He's got room to improve, he's stammering, he's passing, but I think he does what he says on the tin, and he's going to score you a hell of a lot of goals. So, thank you all for watching, and enjoy the rest of your day. Peace!